Hello there, people. It's time for our first assessment. <gasps> Scary assessment. They're going to be fine. We've got this great plan ready for you all to do for our first assessment. So listen up. And if there's anything else, you've got a document underneath as a PDF. We'll give it to you next week. It will explain everything as well. So our first assessment. We need to make sure giving you a formal and official chance to see how good you are at some science skills. And we've got to do so. And we've got to do so by making posters. Beautiful posters. You'll get one piece of A3, quite big paper, between two of you in the class. And with that then, we will let you make posters. You will each get a topic to do for your poster. There are five different topics. And I'm going to ask you to check what they are by looking on the document below. We will give you one topic and you have to make a poster. Now remember, it is a science poster. This means you need information in it. This means you need to tell me what is so important about things. So, what we've got to do is in week 39, not for every lesson, but we will make sure we'll have some time to use computers. And by using computers will help you to do some research so you can find out different things about the topics you've got. Although, remember that these topics we've done in class, so you'll do just fine. So we have that there, week 39. And we go, of course, then go on. And we're going to make the poster. It should be beautiful. I want these on the wall. I want these to go through things and step by steps. I'll give you some tips and I'll show you some good science posters in class. So you get an idea what I'm looking for too. If you're not sure, have a Google now and type in science poster. You'll get some great ideas. In week 40, we're going to do presentations. But I am not going to ask you to stand there and present your poster to the entire class. It's not fun for us to all listen to everybody do it and not fun for you guys as well. So instead, I'm going to do it a bit different. We're going to do it so half the class will walk around the room and listen to different groups on different topics and the other half will sit and present. So maybe two or three minutes with each person in the class and then swap over. And I will listen to you all the time and go to different groups and I will see as well. So we'll all see, but we won't have to do everybody listening at once. So it should, I believe, be quite nice. That's our plan. Now, I am not, at the start of year four, going to stress over who is at what level. But I'm going to give you the chance to do super, super well. Some tips from me. If you want to do really well in science, of course, we've said before, the word we need to do, we need to make sure that we can explain. We can better It's not okay to give an example that, ah, oh, so coniferous trees don't lose their leaves in winter, but deciduous trees do lose their leaves in winter. What I need my students to do is make sure they can explain why, what happens. What is different? Why is it better to do this or to do this? Why is it good for deciduous trees to lose leaves? Why is it good coniferous trees don't lose their leaves? What is different? I need more detail. I need to explain why these things happen. That's of course key to all science. As well in this, we're talking about nature. I want you to show patterns in nature. 
I want you to tell me if you see one thing that happens somewhere, does that same thing happen to lots of different plants or lots of different animals? Tell me if you can show patterns. If you see patterns, tell me how they work. Show me, infuse me. Also, I'm looking for people to make sure they can deepen and broaden ideas. So, if I gave you maybe a different topic, maybe I gave you the topic about different seeds and where they lived and how they survived and so on. If you wanted to deepen and broaden that, you could also talk then about how the different plants themselves are adapted. So if you had a plant, for example, that needed lots of wind, maybe you could describe as well how that plant is really easy to flow in the wind so that its seeds get caught in the wind easily, they fly off fast, and then they can find somewhere new. You deepen it to a new related topic. I like that. The grading criteria like that. Give me that. And also, whenever you can, it's vital to bring in a little something about the environment, milieu. To say a little bit about what is so good, how it helps the environment, why it's important to protect it. I'm looking for your understanding there as well. We don't study the Swedish forest because it's cool. We study it because it's important. It's vital for life, not just for us, but for many different creatures. I want to make sure you can understand that and show me that in your posters and in your explanations when you present them. Have a read. Fill in the Google Docs. We'll come into class. I'll do it one more time with you. And then, off you go. Take care.